But no, it's so much easier to shit on other people or to troll them online because they succeeded in something that you couldn't. Think about why you failed. Maybe you joined the wrong business or maybe you're just not cut out for this. Here, this one. Well, the person at the top is the only person who makes money. False! Hey guys, what's up? It's Emily and welcome back or to my channel if you are new here. We are back at it again with yet another anti-MLM video and I have a few good ones for you guys. So first one, it's this girl's message to the anti-MLM community. She is flipping the fuck out over the anti-MLM people saying we have it all wrong, this and that, and trying to correct what we stand for. So we're gonna go ahead and react to that. And then the second video I have for you guys is like a team group call that was meant for Instagram. So definitely meant for people to see. And they're just trying to debunk Monet and everything that it is, which we know it's not. So that's a very interesting one as well, just because all the delusion in that video. So that's what we're doing today. But if you guys hear this like burr, 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 like in the background. So this is a very new apartment complex and obviously there's a lot of construction. So I don't know what they're doing over there, but they need to realize the big YouTube anti-MLM celebrity is filming over here and I need it to be quiet. How rude of them. Just kidding by the way. <laughs> but yeah guys, go ahead and follow me over on my Instagram and Twitter at Emily J. Fine. Follow, subscribe, like this video, you guys know the drill. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the video. Dear anti-MLM community, this rant may come across as rude or offensive. You like to sob about how you failed your MLM and it's all their fault. You like to go on and on about how everyone fails MLMs or most people fail. Maybe you're right. But do you know why most people fail? because it's hard freaking work. And most people don't have the work ethic, the skill set, or the follow through to make it happen. Very annoying about this video is that she pauses it and edits it like every three seconds. So the flow is just kind of weird and awkward to begin with. But yeah, with what she said, there's no consistency. They say it's such hard work. And then the next they say, it's the easiest work you'll ever do. You just gotta put in the time. It's so easy, mindless. It's just, there's no consistency with this. So. With that whole point, I just really don't understand. Some say that it's this, some say that it's that. Where's the consistency? Which is why 95% of people who start diets fail. It's why most people who fail in their first year of trying real estate. It's why many businesses in general fail. So why not start an anti-diet community or an anti-real estate community? Hell, let's just boycott business altogether. Okay, so I'm almost positive, I'm sure of it. Like, I almost guarantee there's an anti-diet community. I'm sure there's an anti-reality community. I'm sure there's all of that. So again, that point, like, what are, well, what are you really trying to say? And to sit and compare, you know, anti-MLM, something that's a pyramid scheme, very illegal to a diet. There's nothing illegal about a diet. You know, that's a choice somebody makes. It's it's not hurting anybody, but you know, somebody's body if, you know, they choose to do that, if it's destructive to their body. It, it just all depends on who it is, but you're not hurting anybody in the process. You're not changing anybody's life, but potentially your own with a diet and I get it, not everyone is built for this shit. Instead of crying and playing victim about your own failures, why not show some respect and admiration to the mothers who actually did succeed and made it happen? Fans out there busting their asses to put their kids through college or pay off some debt or just buy diapers and groceries. Yeah, they're busting their asses by scamming their way, anybody that they know, family, friends, coworkers, to get themselves to the top. That is exactly what they're doing. But no, it's so much easier to shit on other people or to troll them online because they succeeded in something that you couldn't. As I said, mothers, I'm aware that there are both men and women in the industry, some with children, some without. But the majority of people in network marketing are moms like me who would otherwise just stay home all day. And don't you think that sometimes we get lonely? For some of us, this line of work meets more needs than just the financial ones. It forces us to set goals and have something exciting to look forward to every day and to work towards. It provides us with a sense of community and a social outlet and a support system. In this industry, we're surrounded by other people, women who 
encourage you, lift you up, want to see you grow and succeed because when you succeed, they succeed. So when you succeed, they succeed. So when you make a sale for them, they are also getting a kickback and a commission off the sale you make. You see, you see, it's just, it's all wrapped around this financial, make a sale, profit to scheme your way up to the top. There is little to zero genuineness in this. The system was designed that way for people to lift each other up and to help them grow. It's actually very rewarding to help other people and to get that same help and support in return. It says, hands down, people who are W-2 employees pay more in taxes than business owners. She goes on to list these various tax advantages that people within network marketing or home-based businesses have over people who don't, such as... Um, being able to write off part of your home, your cell phone bill, your internet, your meals, your trips, your tax mileage. There's a lot of them. So network marketing provides a way for A, people who use and love the products to get them at a discount of prices, two, make extra money if we want to, and three, be able to keep more of that money that we work so hard for. So why would anybody want to just sign up for all these discounts for Arbon when you could get better products at a lower price at Walmart, Target, literally anywhere else. Why would anybody, I just, it's almost unfathomable to me that people think that buying into this Arbonne, Monet, this and that, like those are genuinely better products that are worth paying a monthly to be a preferred client to get those products. Why would anybody want to pay $12 on a tube of toothpaste? Why? I, I don't understand that argument and I never will. So like I said earlier, it's more than just about the money though. It's about being surrounded by positive like-minded people who also are goal oriented. It's about having that sense of community and support. Um, it's about building relationships with other people. And for a recovering addict like myself, it's nice to have something positive to look forward to and to work towards and to focus on every day. I encourage you, anti-MLMs, to cut the crap and to lay off the industry and the people within it. Think about why you failed. Maybe you joined the wrong business or maybe you're just not cut out for this. Maybe it's not everyone else's fault. But if you think, you know, maybe you could give network marketing another shot. Maybe you didn't give it a fair chance. Call me. That's all. A big shout out to Kimberlea for setting the record straight despite of all the mob hate she's getting. You got this girl. Okay, so there's kind of a lot to unpack with that last part there. So she talked about how wanting to be a part of that for the community, it makes her better, a sense of just everything that you can find elsewhere that you don't need an MLM for, you can, literally get out of your house and go be social and join groups parenting mom stuff like there's all of that out there that you don't need to pay to be in some you do but some you don't there's a lot of you know free sources out there to, if you're really just dying to be or have a sense of community that's all out there for free and then second of all, who is stupid enough to go and try something again like that? I mean, I get trying something again and it might work out a second time, but like something where you're putting up front a lot of money to be in to spend that yearly fee or startup fee and all that. Why would you want to do that again if it didn't work the first time? That's just dumb to me. That's, that's not being very smart. And then the Kimberlea comment at the end, I'm just like, what the fuck? This girl is clearly off her rocker. I don't know who delusionized and screwed this little thought into her brain, but yeah, like just, just no, no, that's not it. That's not it. I don't know. There's just no fact to that either. It was just genuinely her opinion and her opinion with MLMs. Like there's no backup factual anything to that. That's just... Somebody really got under her skin and decided she wanted to take it out on everybody else. So, so yeah, go ahead and leave your comments down below on that video. 
I'm sure a lot of you are gonna have the same reaction I did, same thoughts, but if you feel like you wanna go ahead and add anything, let's go ahead and talk about it down below. Okay, so we are gonna switch gears a little bit here and move into more of a team group call setting and it's all on Monet. This is why they think Monet is the greatest, bestest thing ever. This is why anything that anybody else believes is completely false. We are not being factual, not backing our opinions and actual things by facts. And they're just kind of throwing some shit out there that just because they think this and they're a part of it, that's why you should do it too. So let's go ahead and watch it. And also, I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, but grab your beverage of choice. Today, mine is a truly once again. Okay, so um, to touch a little bit about our business and how people say, th that's the one I hear the most too, is that we're a pyramid scheme. Um, so let's just get a few things out there, out into the air. One, with a pyramid scheme, those are fraudulent companies who don't provide a real service, a real product, or any kind of experience. With our company, you're receiving real products. You are dealing with the person person to person interaction, which is bringing you that service. And it's also bringing you an experience because you're not just dealing with I don't know, and online, when you're shopping online, you're not dealing with anyone, you're not talking to anyone. Um, so that is the first thing. We provide a real service, a real product, and a real experience. Just because you do all that doesn't mean that what you're doing legally is right, nor does it mean what you're doing morally is right. Let's, let's talk about that. Just because you're having a conversation with somebody and the way you're doing it doesn't make it right. Um, not only that, but we have thousands upon thousands of people who are in this business who are extremely um, successful based off of their own work work ethic. It's not like your regular schmegular nine to five job where it doesn't matter that you are really good at your job and Susan sucks. You guys are going to get the pay get paid the same because you're working the same hours. Um, something that I hear from people too is, will you get commission based off your sales? True. Yes, that's how we get paid in this business. But I worked retail and I don't know if you guys did too, but I worked retail for five years and every single job or every single place that I worked at, we got commission based off of our And you know what? There they go again with downgrading and downplaying a nine to five job. There's nothing wrong with a nine to five job. I, I don't understand that like, oh, I, I stay at home and put myself into debt and scam people, but you're over there working your regular schmegular nine to five job doing something that you could be really passionate about and it's a nine to five job. Like, what the fuck? Like, how does that make that any more right for you to say that? It is the same thing, except I am independent and I am not working and under anyone. Um, and we have the same business structure as any other business. There is the owner or the CEO, the president, the managers, the shift managers, and then the employees. You cannot continue to move up. You will never become the CEO of that company. In this business, you can be the president, the CEO, the because it's your business. What the fuck does she mean by you can be the CEO? You cannot be the CEO of Monet. You're, you're just not going to be. And if you saying I'm a business owner means I'm the CEO of my Monate company, you're just delusional as the next. Like, they're, that is so far off from the truth. And for your, them to just sit there and say that, it's like, what the, what the hell? What are you talking about? You are just spewing garbage out of your mouth about this and that. When it's so far from the truth. You are never going to be the CEO of... Monet, you are never going to be the pre the VIP. Yeah, they have these labels for the associates. Technically, they're all fucking associates. Like, there's just different levels and different amounts of money that only, you know, a top 2% of people make that. And what's crazy is that the people that you sign up, there's, I also hear this one. Well, the person at the top is the only person who makes money. False. That is not true at all because the person that you sign can make more money than you at any time and can surpass you in this business 
at any time. I'm pretty sure the three of us have personally seen that happen either within our own businesses or either people that we know in this business too. Yeah. Anyone... And another thing that I would like to add is like, just because I was one of those people that were ignorant and like didn't really know any better but I legitimately thought <laughs> that you couldn't surpass the person above you, like, or the person that you signed up under. And that's just totally not the case. It happens every single day where if someone, you know, is working harder, they're going to get promoted quicker and they're going to have bigger paychecks. Like you aren't stuck under one person. You're not stuck under the person that you signed up under. Um, so, and with the market being so ground level and so open and just the overall, like there are certain, I'm, you know, I, I'm not going to compare. I'm not going to throw other companies under the bus, but there are certain companies today that maybe don't have the best business model. However, you can still be a direct sales company and have a different compensation plan. You can have a different um, business model in a way of getting paid. We get paid 10 different ways there. It, and we are a customer based business, which is so huge in direct sales. Some people might not be not throwing anyone under the bus, but that's important when you are considering, you know, working from home, which is a huge thing right now, considering the world is a little crazy right now and nobody knows what's going on. Like no one has security at their nine to five, whether they think they do or not. You're not secure <laughs> during these. See, I just disagree with that because if how things were a year ago back in 2020, when nobody was really spending any extra money on things, what, what security is, there in that job that they have if nobody wants to you know spend the extra money on twenty dollar toothpaste or it's just like people um have priorities and needs and people aren't going to want to cough up that extra money for that so again it's just with the whole security thing as well all the people in my at least personal to me a lot of people who work nine to fives are the ones that, you know, had a salary and had their jobs. They had their jobs and were still being paid. So it's kind of the people in the service industry and all that, that kind of get fucked with that because nobody needs to go out to eat and, you know, servers were screwed. And, you know, same with like retail workers, like those are all like people who are very, um, you know, affected in that. And a lot of people were in a lot of different areas. So that's just a very specific example. But, you know, being a an associate of Arbonne, I have my own business, boss babe, they aren't essential workers. Your, your job is just as little and small and minuscule as the next. And ever, really. Everyone's replaceable. Um, so I wanted to throw that out there, too, because... It does make a huge, huge difference in the fact that the products are consumable and they're a product that someone already buys, everyone buys every single day. My entire family uses it. All of our pets use it. Our children use it. Your uncle, your grandpa. It doesn't matter the age. It doesn't matter the gender. Everyone uses shampoo and it's a consumable product that, guess what, is essential during COVID, during you know, whatever. I really don't know how much Arbonne shampoo is, but let's let's just go ahead and let's let's see how much Arbonne shampoo is. Just just to see. Okay, so I hopped on their website really quick just to make sure, but it based like thirty two to forty bucks or so. Anybody who's really in a pinch for money during a pandemic and needs to wash their hair is not fucking spending thirty two dollars on shampoo. They are ordering you know whatever the heck from walmart target under ten dollars they're penny pinching they're saving they're not spending 30 to 40 dollars on shampoo from arbonne so during the right right during and like the the budget as far as like 
they're very comparable in price to even Walmart prices. If you get them during a flash sale and you use them correctly, they're going to last you forever. Um, so that helps as well. Um, and then again, just being a customer based business is so huge because a lot of people probably don't even realize that. Um, but that's our, that's why we're here. We are literally just here to educate and share because I was one of those people that thought that <laughs> you were stuck under the person that you signed up under. Like how crazy is that? <laughs> there are some business models like that too, sure. where you can't surpass. And I can literally think of a few off the top of my head where when I hear these people talk about their company, it literally sounds to me like you're explaining a like a real pyramid scheme. The fact right. that the at the top only makes or makes the most. The fact that um, the person below you can never surpass you. And there, it's crazy that there is a lot of companies like that because then that is like really working just like a regular job. Right. Another thing that I want to add is I feel like with Monate um, and people here in Monate, they're like, oh, I heard it's a pyramid scheme. I heard this and that. You know why that is? Because Monet has gained so much publicity, like so much publicity with celebrities joining the company, with being mentioned in Vogue and Glamour, like there's so much publicity. And with a lot of growth, there's also a lot of haters that are number one, maybe they're too scared to do, you know, what we do to put themselves out there. Or they're just like, yeah, that's probably the main reason, really. Because if you think about your mom's and my mom, just an example, my mom was a hard, is a hardcore Tupperware buyer, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was like our neighbor that she would go to Tupper, Tupperware parties. But I had never heard the term pyramid scheme when it comes to Tupperware, right? Because it's a brand everybody knows, da da da. But like, not everybody associates Tupperware with being a direct sales company, but it is like so many brands that you know and love, like your parents you will guaranteed find either tupperware or pamper chef or whatever in your mom's house right it's direct sales you guys like this industry has been is as all this time this, this mob business model because it sets you up like if you always wanted to be an entrepreneur and you wanted to work on your own terms and you wanted to do all the things this is it because it sets you up with it right you don't have any starting costs you don't have any marketing expenses you don't have no startup costs she says there's no startup costs let's let's go ahead and see if there's startup cost okay so here i just googled monate startup costs i'm gonna go to the monate global official website the official website where it says everything and anything to do with what needs to happen so to join the movement you can build something special with monet start your monet business now just 99 dollars american um with an annual 50 dollars renewal fee every year so you have to pay a hundred dollars starting up and then every year you gotta pay 50 dollars so there's no startup cost right exactly like what she said you don't gotta pay anything, there's nothing to start up, no marketing. I'm just gonna say for them to join, like have you join, there's really no startup costs. And it's definitely not $100 and $50 a year. That's just them, you know, getting that money out of you because they're a business, they, they need that money. They're just not gonna have these people selling stuff and not make any money off of you. That's, it's a scheme, it's a scam look at it for what it is win with because not all of the direct sales models are built the same like like case and Laura said both both of them said you know you in some companies you can't surpass the person you sign up with but here you can literally out earn the people you sign up with like i like i had a girl on my team she made more money than me in a month like you are all individual business owners the person you sign up what you sign up with like you're not like chained to that person you're still your own person and what you do and what is in your control like that's what you do and that's what you're going to get paid for right so it's it's not like it's not like i'm putting in the time and i'm getting paid but it's like putting in the work 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 pay 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 you know, it's not like work, pay, work, pay, like you're used to in a normal employee and boss 
set, yep. set it, you know? Um, um, the last thing that I wanted to touch on business wise is I hear this a lot too, where I see a lot of comments that people go into debt with money and that's not, that's also very false. Or just direct sales in general. Yeah, I feel direct like, sales I feel like that's where a lot, a lot of people who put in the time, effort, money, you know, that hundred dollars startup fee and then buying, I don't know if y'all have ever seen like the cost of like their kits and stuff, but it's, it's not really cheap. So if you're just buying that because you, one, A, want to try the product, two, B, you obviously are not going to try and have your own business and not have the product. So you feel like you just got to buy it, you know, and then nothing comes out of it, even though you put in the time and effort you're going into debt over it. That's, you know, however many hundreds of dollars you just lost, you know, that's not easy to make up or you're not going to make it up at all. And sure they can sit and debunk and say, well, well you can get your money back. Yeah. For the product, you're not getting your hundred dollars back or, you know, every yearly $50 you got to put into it. Like you're not getting that back. That's tossed, thrown away, kiss it goodbye. And that's because what's awesome with us, we don't have, a monthly sales quota we don't carry inventory on hand if you decide one day look this month I'm not working my business that month you don't work your business but it's not like you get penalized for it um, you don't have to continually buy product our products are gonna last you and, and we'll get into this shortly but our products are gonna last you a good three to six plus months so you there it should be no reason you're going into debt because of this company I would get it if we had a sales quota you had to meet or I would get it if you know we had to keep inventory on hand and whatever we didn't sell at the end of the month we you know had to keep but in this business you're placing orders for people you're allowing them to also be a part of the experience of picking choosing and snagging the products that they want um which is a really big reason too why people really can't go into debt in this business because it is a one-time fee of purchasing your products the company can't just give everyone who decides they're interested in this free products because not everyone is built for this kind of business what do you mean an employee of yours, you can't give them free product to try to see if they like it? Like what that? I have so many friends that have jobs that they get free product all the time. Business expenses are paid for no matter what level you're at. If they want you at a business trip, you know, meeting, whatever, they're paying for it for you to travel to wherever because they want you to move there like it doesn't matter so again it's just kind of it's all a money game and to see the delusion coming out of their mouths just thinking that they deserve to be treated that way you like no 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 okay guys that is gonna be it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed let's go ahead and discuss and talk about it in the comments below i'd love to hear your opinions on it yeah it, it was a treat let's just go ahead and leave it at that but please go ahead and subscribe if you like these types of videos i have a bunch of them on my channel like this video if you like this one in specific it really helps me out but that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.